Isolation. For some, it's a choice, a method of retreating from society to focus on creating or discovering deeper meaning. For others, it's COVID-19, COVID-19, lockdown, coronavirus, shut down, dire situation, circumstantial at best. The entire world has slowed down to a halt. Perception is heightened and some may say it's a time of deep reflection. I say that cleaning my rooms has become a tired curatorial practice. I'm happy to have the opportunity to revisit my forgotten artwork. However, I can't help but think at what cost. We have been in frequent contact with our allies and we are marshalling full power of the federal government. Millions of people are dying. The economy is crashing. My opportunities were stolen and my senior year flatlined at the finish line. However, I'm supposed to use this as fuel for a masterpiece. No wonder artists are tortured. Is it expected that being creative during such a time is possible? The shocking truth is, yes. The tortured artist trope goes back decades and is widely believed to be the pinnacle for masterful art. Shakespeare allegedly wrote several of his masterpieces while isolated from society. To be or not to be, that is the question. The painter Francisco de Goya was known for secluding himself in his home where he would create his wickedly haunting black painting masterpieces. And Van Gogh, dear, dear Vincent, probably the most well-known of tortured artists. Vincent Van Gogh lived for 53 weeks in the asylum of St. Paul from May 1889 after mutilating his ear. There he had little contact with everyday life and none with the art world. But did his isolation hinder or help his work? Vincent was suffering. Life in the asylum was tough and soon he was desperate to leave. It was only after his death that the now esteemed artist ever sold any work. Saying that aspects of mental illness can be beneficial or desirable is a slippery slope that sends us down a path to romanticizing illness. However, the tortured artist stereotype is something that we want to hang on to. It's the part of art that sells and validates art being so expensive. Art is deemed more valuable after tragedy, which is why Vincent only sold one painting during his lifetime. Art has a habit of only being valuable if it was inconvenient to create. There can be a pressure on us all to be creative during a time when we are distanced from the distractions of our normal lives. However, making art during a time of crisis can be a privilege. Not everyone is able to. Each experience of tragedy or isolation is unique and artists express their creativity during these times in their own ways. Tragedy should not be the reason for my art. Rather, the art should be the miracle that was born in spite of it. <laughs>